Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-ray tutorial, we are going to learn how to add a precondition to any Jira X-ray test case. So we have already understood about writing the test case. Now let's go and see what are preconditions and how you can add precondition to any of the test case within Jira X-ray. So if we go to the Jira instance here, so we have created some of the test case, right? Now, what exactly is a precondition? So precondition for a test case is, say for example, you want to test the email functionality of Gmail, right? So you want to draft an email, then you want to send an email. So before you can draft email or send an email, before you can test these functionalities, you first need to be logged into the Gmail application, right? So logging in into the application, prior to executing any of the test case is the precondition. So whichever steps you need to follow in order to proceed with the actual test case that you want to test. Say for example, the test is verify the user is able to draft an email successfully, right? So if you're testing that draft email functionality, the precondition is that the user should be first logged in into the email application, right? So this is what briefly an email uh, a precondition example is for an email application. Similarly, there could be depending on different type of application you are testing say for example banking application if you are doing a transaction a user needs to be logged in into their account to perform a transaction right so any prerequisite is a precondition for a particular test case now how to add a precondition now in Jira x-ray everything is an issue type right in Jira everything is, is an issue type when we added the x-ray plugin the test issue type was created and precondition issue type was also created so in order to create a precondition condition you can either go to a particular test case for which you want to create a precondition or you can create a precondition upfront let me show you how okay so say for example this was the test case set csp 17 let me open this okay so this is the test case if you see the details here in the test details section let it load so you will see in the test details the type was manual right and we have the steps here for the test case okay now if we want to create a precondition for this particular test case we simply click on this preconditions here okay if i click on the precondition you will see i have the option to add a precondition there was an existing precondition let me delete it i'll remove it okay so at the moment, if you see if there is no precondition added now, because I have added a precondition previously, so it was visible there. This is how you are going to see the screen. This test doesn't have any precondition. Now, in order to add a precondition for this particular test case, pretty simple, simply click on add precondition. You can add an existing precondition. If say, for example, you have already created a precondition or you can add a new precondition. Most of the time, what you will do is in case there is something very common, for example, login functionality, right? Then you will go ahead and add Add that precondition up front and use it in your test cases right now you have to remember one thing in Jira x-ray that you if you're adding a precondition you have to make sure that if your test case is of type manual then you are adding the precondition of the same type okay so because this test case is of type manual so we'll go ahead and add a precondition which should be of the same type right and it makes sense right because it the precondition and the test should match right you should not be adding a cucumber type cucumber uh, bdd style precondition and your test case is of a manual right that combination doesn't work together so i'll go ahead and click on new precondition and it will open same create issue window in Jira and then here we'll simply add a precondition right so we'll simply say for example so in order to let's see what this particular test case is and then we'll add a precondition accordingly okay so verify the leads are created successfully now in order to create a lead user should be on the say for example the lead portal okay so the precondition will be something the similar steps so we'll say user should be logged into the leads portal okay the summary and then we'll simply put the same thing in the description all right now the next thing is make sure you add a link to this precondition as well so there is a linkage of this precondition with the test case or the story for which this precondition is all about right so we'll say relates to and then select the user story so for example this is for marketing manager csp 14 user story I'll change it to myself because precondition will be written by the tester. So if you're writing it, you assign it to yourself. And then the epic link 
for which this particular precondition is all about okay and simply create now once this precondition has been created okay we'll go ahead and open it so say for example let's open it and we can provide the details within this particular precondition now you'll see the description is here okay and if you go to the precondition details so you'll simply click on the precondition details and this should match to the type of the test right so test was also of manual type okay so simply you have to make sure that it is of a manual type precondition and then we can specify the conditions or the steps here right so we'll simply say open the app url say for example just tell me steps there login using valid user and password okay so this is kind of precondition or prerequisite say for example to execute this particular test case right so those steps have been written and then simply save it okay so you will see that this is a manual precondition for a particular test case if you go to the test tab here you will see that the test is having this particular precondition verify uh, uh, this is the test basically which has the precondition details that we have just added okay so this is how you are going to add a precondition in a particular test case now if you want to say for example your test case is of a cucumber bdd style right so you have to make sure when you are writing your precondition okay you select from the drop down as a cucumber bdd style okay and if your test case is of a generic type then you select a precondition of a generic type as well okay so it should basically map or match with the test case type that you are writing now this is how you are going to create a precondition for a particular test case now say for example you want to create a precondition up front and then use it in your test cases so to create a precondition the process is absolutely similar to how you create the issues so simply click on this plus button here or the create button okay if i simply zoom out a little bit you will see that it is a create button right so simply click on this create button it will open the create issue page and in the issue type you simply have to select the issue type as precondition rest all process is exactly same that i have explained okay now once you create the precondition it will be created you go to the precondition details and depending on what type of your test case is if you're following in your project cucumber bdd style test cases make sure you create a precondition of the cucumber bdd style and then link it to your test cases okay so say for example if i go back to the project and let's see a bdd style test case okay so we'll go to backlog we'll get some test cases which was bdd style and i believe this zcsp19 was the bdd style test case so we'll simply go there and here i'll go to preconditions or let's go to the test details first let's see what type of test. yeah it is a cucumber test type right so our precondition should be kind of similar we'll go to the precondition and in the precondition i'll simply go ahead and add a precondition so if you want to if you have already written a precondition you want to add existing precondition simply click on existing precondition and it will open a window wherein you can select the preconditions that are existing there okay that you would have written and precondition icon type will be you know a little different here and then you can search for a precondition based on certain conditions or the jql search as well okay so if you search then you'll see all the preconditions are there if i want to add say for example this particular precondition then i'll simply select the precondition that is there in this list and click on add selected and that precondition will get added to this particular test case right so the problem here is you will see this error right so precondition was not added to the test because precondition type did not match that of the test right so this proves that basically you have to make sure that your precondition type should be matching to the test type now because this is a bdd style test case we have to make sure when we are adding a precondition we will simply make sure that we add a new condition new precondition and ensure that that type of the precondition is basically cucumber bdd right so you'll see that it's linked here let's see and change this type because otherwise in the execution you will find the issues while executing if the type mismatch is there right so even though description is there okay but we have to change the precondition type to match to the test issue type now if you have written a global precondition if you are changing it the type it will basically change everything in the in all of the test cases right because the global precondition will change so you'll see that here we have to make sure that it is of our type cucumber and then similarly add the steps for the precondition okay in given when then format and then save it and that will be
be added with your test case in the precondition section of the test case right so this is basically what a precondition is all about okay in a jira x-ray how you are going to add a precondition and then precondition should match to the type of the test case right if you want to delete a precondition it's also pretty simple you simply have to go to the test case right and let me go to the backlog so for example here we just added right in the 19 and we want to delete a precondition we'll have open it in the new window we go to preconditions and simply select from these ellipses here okay and click on remove all right and this this precondition will get removed now if say for example there could be scenarios wherein you have multiple preconditions as well so you can rank your preconditions accordingly as well if there are multiple preconditions so to change the rank simply click on change rank and then you can enter the rank for the preconditions so for example this is the first sort of ranked precondition so we added the rank there and accordingly different preconditions can be ranked in this particular test case okay so that's all for the preconditions how to add it how to remove it types of precondition and all the details about the precondition in jira x-ray i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching